we'd like to introduce you to a product called the EKE TrainNet. Actually, it's a combination of products. Combined as the EKE TrainNet, it represents a comprehensive integrated onboard train management system that attends to your train right from the locomotive to the very last car. The competition for passengers and market shares can be won only with higher productivity. This means less time lost at the depot, more automation, and most of all, less people to do the job. The EKE TrainNet is specially designed to meet these challenges. Each car has its own coach computer, or computers can be placed flexibly in different locations in the train. These computers are linked to one another in a dual redundant data transmission network. Each computer carries out several functions. Air conditioning, passenger information, public address system, diagnostics, and remote control video system. Now let's take a closer look at the data transmission system. We call it TrainNet. When you consider all of the information that has to be transferred throughout the train, it's easy to see that the traditional method of using cables for each different function is no longer viable. There's a limit to how many cables can be installed between cars. That's why an onboard data network is necessary. The network must not only be fast enough, it must also be reliable. And as the positions of the car change, the entire network must be automatically reconfigurable. EKE has designed a network that meets these needs, the most efficient and widely used onboard data network on the market. The train net has the following advantages. It's fast, from 250 kilobits per second to 10 megabits per second, with a 100 megabit per second as an option. Reliable, with long experience in use. Reconfigurable, within 0.5 seconds for 16 coach computers. It can be used with autocouplers and normal UIC cable. It's made for on-board railway use, meeting RIA, UIC and IEC standards. The use of the train net means considerable savings in wiring costs and installation work. Assembly errors are also minimized. When it's a question of a single car, the same wiring problem is encountered. That's why another separate network is built inside the car to collect information and to control the various devices. The EKE train net uses Intel Bitbus for this purpose. This is a single or double Bitbus network running throughout the entire car. Either Bitbus cards can be connected to this network or the Bitbus can be connected directly to the different devices wherever they might be placed in the car. Direct connection does away with one of the biggest drawbacks, interface problems between the various devices. Bitbus offers several advantages. It's reliable and widely used. Both hardware and software are standardized. It employs a common standard, which means there are many vendors. And there are no system-wide failures. Here's how it works. This is a normal intercity type coach computer. The network control cards are right here. Next to them are the processing cards. And the rest of the rack has Bitbus cards with the Bitbus master card right here. EKE has developed a full range Bitbus card family. There are two different types of cards, rack mounted and module type. The card family comprises input, output, and serial link cards. It all comes down to travel comfort. It means that all the equipment is functioning due to the diagnostics. The control of the equipment is better thanks to the efficient computer technology. For example, the air conditioning. In trains using the EKE train net, the air conditioning is fully automated. A single car has sensors in various locations to measure the exact temperature of the car.
Based on this information, the coach computer controls either coolers, convector heaters, air heating or fans to provide the required stable temperature in each and every corner of the car. This is the air conditioning system. Here is the bit bus control element with fan controllers. Here are the solid state power relays. And here are various types of temperature sensors. If something is in need of repair, the system recognizes it immediately and also provides instructions, for example, on the driver's display or the conductor's computer. That way, problems are handled before the passengers even though they exist. Onboard diagnostic systems can be more complex and sophisticated than one might think. For example, the shuttle train train management system. One train consists of 16 coach computers and over 4,000 IOs under continuous monitoring. Because of the complexity of the trains, it's impossible to obtain the right information about problems without modern computer technology. The EKE trainnet uses state-of-the-art technology to give the depot staff full information on faults and instructions on how to repair them. This information reaches the depot even before the train. This is the conductor's information center in the conductor's cabin. In these areas, where people may not be accustomed to computers, it's very important that programs are easy to use and that it doesn't require a lengthy training period to utilize all the advantages of the system. The EKE train net has been developed together with users. The result is user-friendly, simple screens that require only a couple of minutes to become familiar with. And here is some of the information the conductor receives. A general overview of the train, the temperatures of the cars, possible faults, all control possibilities, lights, doors, and heating modes. Let's see where else we can get information. This is the fault panel. The conductor and maintenance have these at their disposal in every single car. Just push the button, and you know what's wrong, where, and how you should react to it. This is where you find possible faults, temperatures, and other information. In the early days, all the controls of a car, doors, lights, heating, were often taken care of by a number of relays. Cars are made for passengers, not for electronics. The EKE train net gives passengers more room through TrainNet MicroLogic. The logic is actually built into the computer software. This means the required space is minimized. When TrainNet MicroLogic is used, installation time is reduced and possible installation errors are avoided. And that means real money for the car manufacturer. Digital black boxes are familiar from aircraft. The EKE TrainNet brings them to trains as well. The main components of the crash recorder are the I.O. element, which collects data, the memory module, which stores the information, the fire safe, where the memory module is located, and the control panel. Here's how it's constructed. This is the control panel. This is the actual black box itself. This is the I.O. part, which collects data on speed, brake operation, and ATC information. And this is fire safe. To analyze the information, the data is simply transferred to a normal PC. Using a Windows-based program called Proctor, you find out what happened. Here is a Proctor screen, for example, speed, brake pressure, and times are easily visible. For maintenance purposes, an online analyzing Proctor can also be employed. In order to provide details of an accident, the equipment must be designed to withstand more than extreme conditions. The EKE TrainNet FireSafe unit withstands more than 900 degrees centigrade for half an hour, as well as more than 100 tons of pressure, unharmed. That means it won't go to pieces in a collision. If required, it can also communicate with the TrainNet data network. The EKE TrainNet a comprehensive control system undergoing continuous development to bring us new, compatible devices to extend even further its capacities. This is reality today. To be able to meet today's challenges, you need today's technology. The EKE TrainNet.